Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to avoid hitting the curb when turning. This will be an easy peasy driving lesson, so let's get right into the video. You like that one, eh? Easy peasy driving lesson, that's new, I just made that up right now, just decided to use it on the spot. Maybe we'll keep it, maybe we won't. Let's get right into the video, back on track. Number one, I'm going to go over the things that you need to do and then I'll demonstrate. Just just like as I always do with these driving lessons. So number one, your starting position is super important. You want to start relatively centered in the turning area. So if I'm driving in this lane and I'm going to turn, and I don't want to be too far to the right because then that would cause me to hit the curb. I don't want to be too far to the left because that might cause me to hit the other curb or drive into the oncoming lane of traffic and swerve into the curb. Okay. So you want to be relatively centered with your starting position. Number two, don't look at the curb. When you're starting and learning to drive, I know it's your instinct to look at the curb. You don't want to do that. If you do that, it's going to be a problem. You're going to hit the curb. You're, you don't steer with your hands. You steer with your eyes. Well, you really steer with your hands. Your eyes don't turn the wheel. But your eyes will guide your hands. So if you look at the curb, guess what? You're going to drive into the curb. It's as simple as that. Okay. Number three is look ahead in the turn. So here's the thing. If I'm turning left, I'm going to switch my focus towards a 45 degree angle left over here. If I'm turning right, I'm switching my focus to a 45 degree angle right. We're not looking straight. We're not looking all the way to the right or all the way to the left. We're just adjusting slightly our focus to the area or the direction in which we're turning slightly. Okay. Number four, don't turn too sharply. You got to go easy with the steering wheel. And the, the best thing is practice because that will allow you to estimate how much to turn the wheel. When you're just learning to turn, start in a parking lot, an empty parking lot, practice there. And start on nice wide streets that have these big turning radiuses during hours when there's no traffic, okay, non-traffic hours. Because then you're going to you allow, it'll allow you to learn to practice. It'll, <laughs> it'll allow you to practice and learn to make those turns properly, right? Um, so you want to just practice to correct that error and that'll help you estimate how much to turn the wheel. Last but not least, I'm losing my train of thought here. Sorry about that. Last but not least is number five, which is the actual steering method, which is to turn the wheel hold it and release it. When you release it, you know, the wheel's going to turn back by itself. You want to essentially turn the wheel, hold it and release it. Okay. Let's demonstrate. So I'm going to bring all of these things into, uh, together, uh, into conglomeration. I don't even know what I'm saying into this one maneuver of turning a car. Okay. Very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple turns with stop signs, maybe one without a stop sign and so forth. So let's take a turn with a stop sign over here, uh, without a stop sign. Signal, check my mirrors, check my blind spot. Starting roughly in the middle of the turning area, turn the wheel, hold it, release it now, just like that. And I knew how much to turn the wheel. I kept my eye focused on the turn and I looked ahead in the road. I'm not looking right in front of the car. Now here's a stop sign, okay? Come to a complete stop. Just like that, check my mirrors on my blind spot, creep forward because there's these massive hedges that I don't know why people grow them on corner lots, okay? I can't see, now I'm good to go. Turn it, hold it, release it, just like that. Now the curb, because I'm driving on the right side of the road, the curb is always going to be closer on my right side, okay? I can still hit the left curb, but I really got to mess up if I hit a left curb. The curb is always going to be on the right side unless I'm driving on a, on a one-way street or anything of that nature. So what I'm doing now is at this stop sign over here, I'm going to signal left, okay? Come to complete stop over here. Okay, I'm gonna wave to the crossing guard. Know pretty well. How's it going today? Good, good. Good to go. Turn the wheel, hold it, release it. Check out where I'm looking. And there was a truck parked there on the side of the road right at the, at the curb over there, right at the turn. So I had to avoid that. Now I'm gonna turn right. This is where the right turns from the right, from the driving on the right side is where the majority of people hit the curb. So check this out. Here's another little trick. I wanna accelerate, then turn the wheel like that, okay? You're not accelerating and turning the wheel at the exact same moment. You're accelerating and then just a fraction of a second later, you're turning the wheel. Okay. Very simple. Now there's no stop sign up here, but I'm the only car on this road. This is like a dead end over here. Nobody drives here. So I'm going to treat it as if it was a stop sign. I'll show you that method again. That's a key factor. So I'm going to stop here. There's no stop sign, like I said, but I'm going to stop here, treat it as if there was a stop sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm accelerating, then turning the wheel. And what that does is that essentially, and I'm going to pull over for the rest of this, that essentially puts you a little bit ahead of the curb. 
right? Because if I turn the wheel right as I'm accelerating, I might hit the curb. But if I accelerate and then a fraction of a second later turn the wheel, I'm moving forward then turning. It pulls me away from the curb, which is fantastic. It's what you need when you want to avoid hitting the curb when turning. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.